Welcome back to Tuesday morning where Filer Ool has all new stuff for us. Let's see what he has. We're going to start with our treasure maps. This week we have Melibol Tour treasure maps. So last week the Infinite Archive was dropping Melibol Tour gear. This week we have the treasure maps. So if you didn't finish your sticker book, the treasure maps might... No, they're never a good idea. Honestly, guys, come on. The maps are almost never a good idea. Uh, yes, Malibol Tour does drop Spinners, Salvation, and Thunderbug gear. They also drop Ancestral High Elf um, leads for the motifs, but they're really not a great idea. Not at 2000 Archival Fortunes. You can go buy the maps for a couple hundred gold at Guild Traders. Just do it that way if you really want to. So we're skipping that this week. One of the things I'm really excited about is the style page for the Earthgore mask. Every time they offer a mask, I'm going to tell you to spend the 15,000 archival fortunes, especially for the DLC dungeons. Um, this one is from Bloodroot Forge. The hard mode is not horrible, but it's not easy either for sure. And the drop rate is so bad on these, just buy it. So this is what I'm most like, mostly excited about this week. There's one more thing, but we'll get to that in a minute. This is what the Earthgore mask looks like. Uh, companion equipment this week is purple weapons. Again, with the companion stuff, you have to make sure that you get the right trait and the right gear. They're bound, so you can't even sell anything that you want to discard. I would skip this unless it's jewelry, maybe where you have a better chance of getting a decent trait. Um, but weapons, unless you get just the right thing, it's really not worth it. So I'm going to skip this one. Inscribed shards. These make the replica Zenithar Adidum Gate. These drop out of Zenithar's Abbey Public Dungeon. I don't think these are too terribly difficult to get. At least they didn't used to be. I believe if you target the twin bosses, the ogres or whatever they are, I think they're still kind of guaranteed to drop one. Usually these, these pieces are a kind of a RNG nightmare. But in this case, I believe they're still dropping every time specifically from those bosses. So even though it requires 50 of them, I still think they're pretty easy to get. All right, Infinite Tome Manuscript Lead. This is for the Infinite Tome Furnishing, which is really cool. It drops out of Infinite Archive, though. And if we're running Infinite Archive anyway to get the Archival Fortunes, this one has not been difficult for me to get. There are three leads that combine to make the furnishing. I'm about to finish up my second one, and that's probably that low just because I haven't dug them up right away. So I'm probably going to skip this one. For 5,000 archival fortunes, running infinite archive anyway, I just think I'm going to get these regardless. So unless you're going for multiples of them, I just skip it. However, the Singer Steel Clasp is for the Left-Hander's Aegis Belt, which is popular in PvP. It drops from Alakir Desert Treasure Maps. Not a horribly difficult one to get, but Left-Hander's Aegis is good, so I am excited about this lead. Anytime we get a good Mythic and a lead that's even somewhat difficult to get, it's probably a good deal. All right, moving on, we have our Malographic Icor. 50 of these give you the Malographic Mount. Again, if we're running Infinite Archive, just one or two arcs a day to get the daily. This probably isn't that difficult to get. And at 15,000 archival fortunes times 50 of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just skipping this one. Pretty much every time it pops up, we're going to we're going to ignore this one. I'm going to come back to books here in a second. Again, Tales of Tribute clues. If you are a Tales of Tribute aficionado, you're probably getting the clues anyway. They drop randomly from your reward stuff. So Again, I'm skipping this. If you if you do the content, it's probably going to drop, right? Okay. Books. I have a link down below of how to get books from um, Infinite Archive, Scrivener's Hall, from Treasure Chests in Cold Harbor and so Northern and Southern Elsewhere, etc. In this case, both of these books are dropping out of Chests from Infinite Archive. The drop rate is pretty horrible. It's pretty bad. You need to learn the eidetic memory by finding the book out in the wild, the, just the regular gold glowy book, um, usually just on the ground somewhere. The ones that drop in Infinite Archive are all found in either Telvanni Peninsula or in Apocrypha. These two aren't difficult to get uh, the eidetic memory of, but 
they don't drop that well. So if you want the books, the book furnishings for your house or just your collection in general, if you're a completionist, 1000 Archival Fortunes is a bargain. So I'm going to recommend both of these this week. All right, I think that's it. We're gonna run Infinite Archive quick to see what gear is dropping back in just a sec. All right, we just finished a couple arcs of Infinite Archive and it looks like this week, our base game zone gear is dropping from Grotwood, which would include Green Pact, Ranger's Gate, and Sierra Bane's Grip. And then our DLC zone gear is coming out of Somerset. That would be your Gloom Grace, your Griffin's Ferocity, and your Vanus set. All right, so that's it for this Tuesday. Check back with us next week when we see you then.